Good. You do one with Chris, you do one with a double, you do one with a clean plate. Sometimes we do one with Chris and slide a green screen in behind him. Sometimes we do one with the double and put tracking markers on his face. Frankly, because we wanted to give the, the, the effects houses as much information as they needed because we knew the process wouldn't be easy and we knew that from shot to shot they'd have to vary their technique. So we essentially covered every technique possible to give them all the ammunition they need. What we found out early on is that Leander wasn't quite thin enough and weak looking enough and it, he wasn't quite emaciated to the point we wanted him to so we would have to skinny up Leander as well and sometimes when we skinny Leander Chris's head would be wrong it's amazing how just a matter of millimeters will make him look like a completely different person it's been probably the hardest thing uh, for us to achieve because not only are you trying to make someone look small and you're trying to make him look believable but you're also trying to make him look consistent and from shot to shot depending on the lens that you used when you photographed it or the lighting, that can change things dramatically. And because there's so many shots, it's not like we can give them to one artist and say, you know, make all these shots look like the same guy. They have to go to several different artists. We employ eight or nine companies currently, and we've got them in you know, three continents. And some of those companies will have upwards of three, 400 people working on this. There's a lot of work and a lot of an incredible amount of energy and effort goes into every single frame in the final movie. You know, you really are concentrating on every single pixel. So they're, they're constantly comparing notes and trying to make them look like the same person. So if the lighting is different, the angle is different, and the, the weather is different, it changes just enough so that suddenly you shrink him down and it's, uh, it's not the same guy. Here we have an example of of him where we've actually just literally taken his whole face and his body, his shoulders, his neck, and we've just thinned him down. We've made his cheeks more gaunt. We've changed the shape of his jaw to remove some of that strong sort of superhero jaw. We've made his shoulders much, much narrower and given him more of a coat hanger feel here in this area here. We've thinned down his neck. We've just tried to make the, the helmet look just a little bit big. We've shrunk the whole head just a little bit and made him just a little bit smaller. What we're not doing is just a general overall scale down. So it literally is taking the sides of his, of his features and moving them all in, but making sure that the central features, the face, stays the same so that what you're seeing is still Chris Evans. And you can, you can see that you know, it's still the same person, but it's really trying to, try to maintain that character of what Steve is. We are going to win this war because we have the best men. And because they're going to get better, much better. On this shot here, we're actually doing our, a different technique, which is to do, which is, is to use our body double. This is what we, how we actually photographed him. He's got green dots on his face so that we could track where his face was looking, because we looked at this and thought, well, this is likely to be more of a, a head replacement technique rather than skip slimming Chris down. So we shot the same pass with Chris Evans' face, or Chris walking doing the same motion, exactly the same. So we shot the scene two different ways, and then. We took Chris's head and we placed Chris's head onto the Leander body. You're beginning to believe that, you know, it's Chris's, it's Chris walking towards us, but it's a very, very small version of Chris. You still recognize that it's Chris Evans, and yet it's unfathomable that this half the man that he really ends up being in the movie. Visual effects really have to be on point. If they look silly, the illusion is, is shattered. But you really feel like it's me. It's kind of interesting how visual effects touches so many different aspects of filmmaking nowadays and there's so much that we can do. Just as maybe you start to think you see what the trick is in the next shot it's a different trick so you can't quite grasp it so it must be real. It's pretty original and pretty fantastic. To the little guys. <laughs>